The Triumph Thruxton RS is the latest model from Triumph to take the legendary name and evolve even further on the back of the previous Thruxton R. It was released in 2019 for the 2020 model year and it was a bike that received more than just a cosmetic uplift from its predecessor. Instead it came out with more power, better handling and higher quality components resulting in overall more attitude. You have to understand the roots of the new Thruxton to really get to grips with why Triumph have taken the RS in the direction that they have. In 1965 the first Thruxton Bonneville was built, taking a T120 Bonneville as the base, it was a bike built for homologation purposes so it could compete in the endurance races of the time. We can't be sure on how many were actually built at the Meriden factory, but we know that officially 52 were made to to meet the homologation requirements. After that many Bonnevilles received race-tuned parts to make them Thruxtons. Triumph's celebrated Thruxton got its name from the manufacturer's success at the Thruxton race circuit in Hampshire, England. First things first let's start with the new Thruxton RS engine which was improved above the preceding R model. The 1200cc parallel twin is a staple for Triumph and it has all the looks of the classic air-cooled British twins of the early days. Except it isn't air-cooled and the fins are just for style and the radiator is actually well hidden as it is blacked out in stealth mode at the front of the bike. The mechanical slide throttle bodies give more credence to the theme of being an old-school Brit Cafe racer bike, single overhead cam keeps the top end of the engine nice and simple. The large displacement and firing order makes a great thunderous noise that both riders and onlookers will enjoy thoroughly. It gets your heart pumping even sitting at idle. A noise that creates an ominous vibe, the quiet before the storm as it were, but less quiet. Sure the bike isn't on par with some of the sports and naked bikes currently available but it is still a thrilling cafe racer ride and will give any other modern retro motorcycle a run for their money. 103 horsepower and 112 newton meters of torque spread across the power band is plenty for all roads and even enough to have some fun on the track if you fancy it. Power delivery is smooth across the entire rev range as would be expected. Triumph have certainly nailed their fueling systems. The six-speed gearbox is also smooth, neutral is easy to find and the very fact it is a reasonably aged engine design now gives the bike a charm that other bikes lack. It still looks and feels quite mechanical. Not quite like a 1960s Triumph obviously and if you are a modern rider you wouldn't want that. But you still feel connected to the bike and I like you have to do the work. Something lacking on many of the modern motorcycles today. Triumph motorcycles have used a traditional double downtube or double cradle frame that supports the power plant. They matched this with no expense spared on a big piston Showa fork up front and fully adjustable Olin suspension on the back. This suspension setup is more than enough to provide supreme cafe racing handling on the roads. The steering angles are tight forcing you to be decisive with your lines. This is real world road racing kind of steering geometry if you want it to be. Metzeler Racetech RR tires add to the race element, being sticky sports tires that are great for lean angles but suited to regular road surfaces above being on a perfect track. Brembo brakes provide plenty of bite, they cast aluminium for a reduction in weight while providing necessary stopping power. In terms of riding position the Thruxton RS is somewhat more accessible than the previous R. The ergonomics are without a doubt sporty but less physically demanding than they first appear. The chassis is narrow, seat height just 810 mm and as a result shorter riders won't feel left out with being able to mount the Thruxton RS. In fact it is more than manageable and comfortable for most riders especially thanks to its weight reduction. The lighter weight has certainly aided the overall balance. The fuel tank is long and narrow, however the wide bars somehow make it less aggressive than most supersports available, you aren't flat out on top of the tank, unless of course you want to be. The seat has a textured finish for added comfort and it is roomy allowing you to move around as you ride. Other than overall handling which I will get to, the last thing to comment on is the Thruxton RS styling, 
you can see the effort with every detail that Triumph has made to make the RS scream premium quality. Colorways are sleek, traditional and classy. Currently available in jet black or competition green which has a complementing silver ice tone and gold stripe on the fuel tank. There is also a special edition, Ton Up. Inspired by the Ton Up boys and the bikes that did the first 100 miles per hour race at the Isle of Man TT. This comes at a significant extra cost for what is really a different paint scheme. The classic swept up twin brushed silencers keeps the authentic cafe racer styling alive along with the engine design while the gold forks offer that modern splash of bling to remind you we are in 2022.